So Aisling, um, you were saying that gases are dissolved in the water here, can you explain that? Yeah, so uh, one of the most important things we would look at when we get to the river is the dissolved oxygen. So oxygen gas is dissolved in the water and all the animals that live in the water uh, breathe it in through their gills. So it's one of the most important gases um, dissolved in the water. So we hopefully, in, mo in a healthy river system, you'd be looking for it to be about 80 to 120% saturated. So if you saw um, a percentage below that or above that, you might be a bit worried about okay. the system. So will we go check this out? Sure. Then? And so for biosecurity reasons, because I would have used this probe in um, other rivers, I take it in a little bottle, so we're not double dipping. <laughs> Uh, so this is my DO probe. Just switch it on. Just tip it in. And I just let it settle. So how long should you leave the probe in the water? Until um, the reading stops jumping around. So it's staying fairly steady there. We're looking at about 103.5% saturation. That's 10.7 milligrams per litre of water. And is, is that reading okay? Yeah, so that's between your 80% and 120%. Mm -hmm. So you'd be happy with that. And then temperature is very important when you take these readings because colder water holds more oxygen. So you would um, kind of interpret your your percentage and your milligrams per litre based on the temperature of the water. Okay. Okay. So um, what kind of factors, um, Ashling, would affect the, the amount of oxygen that's in the water here? Um, so the main source of the oxygen is the air, but also the algae and the plants and any primary producers as they photo photosynthesize, they produce oxygen. So if, for example, you got nutrients into the system, um, that kind of overfed the plants, overfed the primary producers, and you got something like an algal bloom. What happens is um, during the night when they're respiring and actually using oxygen, they use up too much of it. So you might get at night time the, the dissolved oxygen dipping down below 80, and then during the day when they're photosynthesizing, when there's so many of them, it blown up above 120%. And for the animals that need oxygen, to breathe like your fish and your invertebrates that's going to put them under a lot of stress and especially if you got down low, as low as 50 percent your salmon and your trout would be in big trouble okay so really low like 50 percent is bad but what happens if you went really high what if you was 150 percent well it depends on when you measure it so um, plants they photosynthesize during the day when they have the light and that's when they're producing oxygen but at night time they respire and they use oxygen and they produce CO2. So at night time, that's when you'd see the drop. And then you might come uh, after dawn and you'd have an elevated above 120%. So you might see these diurnal fluctuations. So that's why um, anything above 120 or below 80, you'd be starting to have some questions. 